Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Body of Jelani Day found without organs and teeth. Day's body was found after the family continually begged authorities to give more attention to the case. <laughs> authorities are continuing to investigate the death of Jelani Day, whose body was pulled from the Illinois River last month and found without organs after the graduate student disappeared late August. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, Day's body was found without eyeballs and his top and bottom teeth. The autopsy also concluded that his jawbone had been sawed out. The family said their loved one's brain, liver, and spleen were also missing. A pathology report added that the organs were completely liquefied and the genitalia was unidentifiable. Day's body was found after the family continually begged authorities to get more attention to the case. I was very frustrated with the fact that Jelani hadn't been getting the coverage. Jelani has been missing for 24 days. It appears that help has ceased. I'm imploring, pleading, and asking that the police still pay attention and look for my son, Carmen Day said, according to MEAWW. The heartbroken mother cited the case of Gabby Petito wishing that her son would have received the same amount of diligence. Her face is plastered everywhere and the FBI is involved. Carmen said about Petito and I do not understand why Jelani doesn't get that same coverage. Jelani doesn't get that same attention. The coroner's office identified the body on September 23rd and notified the family. Day's loved ones learned that the body was not only missing his organs, but also suffered from fish and turtle bites while also being infested by maggots. When authorities released Day's body, the family attorney, Hallie M. Benzner, advised the mother not to look at her son's remains. He was such in bad shape, Benzner said. It's just a heartbreaking story for sure. The family is now preparing to celebrate the young man's life at closed casket service in his hometown of Danville. Besner says she is still looking for scientific explanations, hoping to understand what happened to Day's body. Advocates are also using social media to demand answers. Sounds familiar like history keeps repeating itself. His family deserved to know. Hashtag Jelani Day, a Twitter user wrote. The tragedy is drawing comparison to Emmett Till, who was also found in a gruesome state after he was killed. Day, an Illinois State University student who was an aspiring doctor, was reported missing on August 25th. His story received more attention in the aftermath of Petito's case as advocates called for more coverage of missing black people. I'm very upset because I can't even look at my son's body. His body has deteriorated to the point where I can't say a proper goodbye to him. Carmen told Good Morning America as Blavity previously reported. And this is and this is what they do. They basically they don't um give you coverage of black men or black women. You know, I had to be schooled to some game that a lot of times what they do is if it's black people. They push us to the back burner. They don't show us any type of love at all. They don't show us love. They don't show us anything. All they do is continuously do what they do, which is say, fuck us. We'll cover the other man. And this was a black man aspiring to be a doctor. What made somebody so mad that they did this to him? And then his organs were taken. Why was his organs taken? Hmm. His organs were taken because black men and women have the best organs of any race out there. 
of any race. Like our bodies are made tough. They function well, especially if we take care of it, if we're not smoking, doing all that other stuff. But our bodies, our bodies work as a machine. But this is the problem. Why did it take so long for him to get coverage? And why isn't this around? Why isn't this shown everywhere? Because he's a black man. <laughs> because he's a black man. Now, if this was a white boy or a white male or, or any other race, it would have got mass coverage. It would have been like, oh my gosh, why is this happening? But because it's Jelani, he doesn't get the same treatment. That's bullshit. This man, teeth were missing. And the cops in the, in the reporters, they didn't give it no coverage. The family, the mother, which I know she's, she's heartbroken right now. She, I, I know she's a mess right now. But... She was saying, why y'all not giving him coverage? But I'm telling you, let it be a white boy. Let it be any other race. Black people, black men, especially black women, are disrespected more than really any race out there. And then they pit us against each other. For the simple goal to um, divide and conquer. The divide and conquer scheme has been going on since slavery. That's why you have the house nigga and you have the field nigga. Like Malcolm X said. You had Massa, the male, raping the um, raping the um, raping the men and the women, and the women doing the same. It was all devastating. It was all devastating. What was going on? And see, this isn't the only. He's not the only male. There's been a lot of missing children, especially black. Why is that? Because they're using our organs to keep the rich alive. All this is allegedly. What they do is they take us from the night, take our organs, and they either sell the kid, which is a woman or a boy, to, to human trafficking, and they take the organs and they give it to a rich person. That's why you see the Queen of England and all of these white folks that are older are living for so long. I can't think of the movie, but there was a movie where this one dictator just kept taking organs of young kids to live. And another kid was going to be up for that. So what the kid would do was try to smoke cigarettes, smoke cigarettes, smoke cigarettes. So... When the guy got his organs, he would be messed up. I can't think of the movie's name, but I watched it and that's sad. That's what they do in real life. This is terrible. We have to do better and this is why I call it American. American... Wants us to be pimps and hoes and gangsters or gay. They want us to treat, they want our women to run the house. They want our women to run the relationship while we're docile. That's what they want. But rest in paradise, Jelani. You did not deserve to go out like that. That was terrible and that was downright egregious it was it's egregious 
And for nobody to really cover this story is full of shit. Seriously. Thank you for listening. I'm out. Deezy.